So I wanted to share the facts about myself with you. Fact number one, I am half English. Uh, my sisters, my mom and I all have dual citizenship. Uh, my dad and my mom were both raised in England. Well, my dad's American and he moved there when he was nine. Uh, my mom is actually a English uh, citizen and she was born in Malta, which is a small island just south of Italy, and traveled all over. She grew up in places like uh, Singapore and um, didn't actually live for a long period of time in England until she was in her very late teens um, and early 20s, where she moved in with her sisters to an apartment in Oxford, where my dad so happened to be going to university. So uh, they met at church and fell in love and that's that. Uh, they moved back to the States when my dad graduated from Oxford and needed to attend medical school. My sisters, uh, well my older sister and I were both born here in the States and uh, my younger sister, fact number two, is actually adopted from China. So she was born in Guangdong province and uh, we adopted her at the age of two. Then uh, fact number three, I have a adorable seven month old puppy. Her name is Tentley and uh, she is a lab border collie and pit bull mix. I've had her since she was just over three months old and uh, she's just my little buddy. I love her so much. Um, in August, I lost my cat of 17 years, Tom, and uh, I've had him his whole life. He was honestly one of my best friends. Um, I love my pets so deeply and so much, so I guess that's fact number four about me is that I can't help it. They're like a member of my family, and so losing him was one of the hardest things I've ever done. And um, fact number five, it led me to getting my first tattoo. It is a small T that uh, is my older sister Kelly's handwriting. Um, Kelly drew it on my thumb the day that we put Tom down. And uh, it was honestly one of the hardest days of my life, but my sister Kelly was there for me, as were my grandparents. Um, my parents and my little sister were out of the country at the time, as was I when he got sick and I had to fly back and only just got back in time. Um, yeah, so uh, Tentley is my new little buddy. Um, we also have a, my family also has a golden boxer by the name of Milo, and uh, he is just the funniest character you'll ever meet, and he and Tentley are best friends. Um, let's see, fact number, oh I've lost count, six? Is it six? Um, I have been sketching and designing since I was the earliest I remember is junior high. Um, and I have this is a very distinct memory of sketching in Mr. Woolley's math class with my friend Mackenzie and uh, just having the time of our lives deciding what we were going to wear to prom. Fact number seven. I am always losing my phone. Always. Um, I need it to literally be attached to me. And even when it is, I still lose it. <laughs> um, I guess you could say that I just have a lot of stuff going on and my head is more focused on other things like work. Fact number eight. I did not get my first designer item until I was in my very early 20s. Now that is pretty early. Um, for some people. However, it was a gift and it was this pair of Kate Spade sunglasses. They are still my absolute favorite today and uh, they've held up really well. So 
I love that. I have a little obsessed with Kate Spade and also has a Kate Spade wallet. And for my 23rd birthday, I bought myself a Kate Spade bag. Um, this is now, I now have two Kate Spade bags and a Michael Kors backpack. Um, but this bag primarily ends up being my favorite and the one I use the most. Fact number nine. I love quirky socks. Oftentimes, I will be wearing the strangest socks and my favorite thing to do is just in the middle of a conversation, <laughs> I just go, you guys want to see something? And I whip out my shoe, whip my foot out of my shoe and just like pull my foot up and show off my socks. Um, my favorite pair are actually a, um, they're an ankle pair from Target and they have half unicorn, half mermaid on them and I just absolutely adore them. Um, a couple, two months ago, Tentley actually got a hold of one of them and put a hole in it. So I've had to stitch that hole shut, but I refuse to get rid of them because they are my favorite. But I have some pizza ones, I have some french fry ones, um, I have a whole boatload of um, holiday themed ones from Easter to July to Christmas, so you will probably find me wearing some sort of interesting sock. Fact number 10. I used to be a figure skater. Um, so for the majority of my young childhood, I danced, um, and I did that for about 10 years. But after that, and when we kind of first moved to Utah, which was about 15 years ago, I decided I wanted to learn to figure skate. And um, I fell in love with it really quickly, and I did that for six years, and um, it really was my first love before fashion. I had dreams of going to the Olympics as a pair skater, and joining a um, show like Disney on Ice um, and touring, but unfortunately when I was about 16, I damaged my knees pretty badly and had to hang at my skates. So, um, I, it was definitely the hardest, one of the hardest things for me to do, but it led me to fashion and I wouldn't be here doing what I'm doing if it hadn't happened. So I, I'm glad it did happen, and I'm glad I still had that time in the ice. I just live for that moment when you first step onto the ice and it is just being freshly zamboni and you can just hear the cutting of your blade into the ice. It is by far one of my favorite sounds, um, and the same, it's the same sound you get as you come off your blade and land back on it after a jump. It's just one of the best sounds in the world. All of these facts have helped sort of shape me um, from things like, you know, my heritage and ice skating uh, to things that are just little quirks about myself, like my socks and uh, my love of gummies and sweets. So, I hope it uh, helped to get to know me a little bit better and hope to enjoy.